Good morning, students. So, dear students, today we are going to read about some strategies to follow while solving your reading passages. So, without wasting time, let's start. As we all know, there are two types of passages which come in the paper. One is discursive and the other is factual passage. And usually the standard time to solve these two passages are 20-20 minutes each. But it depends on your practice, how much practice you people would have done to solve these passages. It matters a lot. So today I'm going to give you some quick ideas or some quick plans or strategies to score good marks or full marks in reading passage. So before we start how to solve the reading passage, dear children, let us discuss about what is the difference between discursive and factual passage. So discursive passage is a type of a text that presents an argument or point of view on a particular topic. It involves analyzing and interpreting the information. The purpose of discursive passage is to persuade the reader to accept the writer's point of view. So, in discursive passage, what happens, dear children? In these kind of a passages, mostly the writer presents his argument or his point of view on a topic and he analyzes that particular topic he interprets that particular topic according to his own understanding and his motive is to persuade or his motive the writer's motive is to convince the reader to accept his point of view so that is discursive passage but on the other hand in factual passages, the factual passages contain details, facts, and figures that are supported by evidences. And the purpose of factual passage is to provide the reader with accurate and reliable information. So, in the factual passage, the writer, he provides a piece of information along with some facts and figures, along with some support, along with some evidences, we could say. And the motive of the writer while presenting the factual passage is to provide the reader a very accurate and reliable and correct information. So, this is the difference between discursive and factual passage, dear children. Now, next we'll discuss about things to be kept in mind while solving the reading passage. So, let us discuss what you should not do first. Do not start reading the passage from the beginning till the end. Because when you start reading the passage from the beginning till the end, dear, ch ch dear children, what will happen? When you will reach till the end of the passage, you will forget a lot of things in between. So you are not supposed to read the whole passage from the beginning till the end. As when you read the questions, you need to go back and read the passage again to find the answer. Because what happens? When you read the complete passage, the first thing is you are not able to retain the whole passage in your mind. And secondly, after reading the passage, you read the questions also. And after reading the questions, you again go to the passage and find out the answers. So it will be merely a wastage of time and energy. So. What are you not supposed to do? 
you are not supposed to read the whole passage from the beginning till the end. It is a big no-no. Instead, you should follow some reading plans. Now let's discuss about the reading plans. What are you supposed to do while solving the unseen passages? The first thing is skim the text. Skimming the text means just read the headings and the subheadings of the passage and read at least first two or three lines of each passage. Just read the headings or subheadings if they are given in the passage or just read first two or three lines of each passage. Now, here is an example. For, for example, this is the passage which came in the paper. So there are the two passages, two paragraphs. So what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to read only one or two lines of each paragraph. The first paragraph here is talking about spending time on social media could affect children's ability to write effectively. Now let's read the second paragraph's first or two lines, first or second lines. However, there are those who reject these criticism on both scientific and pragmatic grounds. That's it. Now, after reading these one or two lines of each paragraph, see what happened. What do you think is the topic of the whole passage? Only after reading the two, two lines of both the paragraphs, we come to know about the whole topic. We, we got to know about the idea of the whole topic of the passage. It could be negative effect of social media on children. Now, what is the first paragraph talking about? The first paragraph is talking about using social media could affect the children's writing skills. And what is the second paragraph talking about? The second paragraph is talking about a few don't agree with the first paragraph due to two reasons. That is scientific and the other is pragmatic or practical now see, only after reading these two, two lines of two paragraphs, we got the idea of the whole topic of the passage and even we got the idea what could be the gist of the first paragraph and the gist of the second paragraph. So this is what you are supposed to do. In each paragraph, read the first two or three lines and ignore all the other information. You are only reading quickly to get main ideas in the passage. Now, first step is clear to everyone. The first step in the reading plans of unseen passage is skim the text. Means just read the headings and the subheadings of the passage and read at least first two or three lines of each passage. Now let us discuss about the second step. After reading one or two lines of each paragraph, the second step is read the questions Read the questions and try to understand them completely. And underline the keywords. There could be two to three keywords in each question, dear children. Let's do it. For example, these are the two questions which came in the paper. The first question is, likes and shares motivate users to write 
lengthy and meaningful posts. And the second question is, scientific studies have failed to show a relationship with, between children's social media use and writing skills. So these are the two questions. Now, how to find out the keywords? So the keywords in the first question is, likes and shares motivates, motivate users to write lengthy and meaningful posts. So in the first question, the keywords are likes and shares. And in the second question, the keywords are scientific studies and writing skills. Okay, so these are the two keywords which you are supposed to find out in the questions. So these kind of keywords you people are supposed to find out in the questions, dear children, according to your understanding. So first step is clear to everyone. Second step is clear to everyone. Now let's discuss about the third step. As important as two steps which we discussed earlier. In the third step, start reading the passage carefully. Read naturally, but you should be looking for the key words that you underlined or the related words or synonyms. And if you find those key words or synonyms, then start reading carefully or slowly as your answer is there. Now, we'll discuss about some important tips. What if you don't understand the meaning or any difficult word? Yes. This happens with many children. They ask about the synonym, antonym, right? So what will happen? And everybody could not know the meaning of each and every word, isn't it? So what are you supposed to do at that time? Then try to understand the meaning of that word by understanding the surrounding information. Read that particular line carefully, okay? And try to infer or try to understand in which context that word is used in the passage. And you will be very, very much close to your answer, dear children. Now we'll discuss about some important tips to improve your reading. There are two challenges while reading dear children. One is vocabulary and the other is practice. So to overcome these two challenges, what are you supposed to do? Read more and read widely. Try to read more and more books Try to read the magazines, read newspapers, read any book of your choice, right? And note down and review vocabulary and note down the difficult words which come while reading that particular news, piece of news, particular ma magazine, particular topic, any book. Note down the vocabulary word and review that vocabulary word find out the meaning in the dictionary and it is available in the google nowadays everything is so easy right and always remember you only get better at reading by reading only so keep practicing happy reading children